Hey you, welcome back to the channel. And guys, today I wanna to talk about the Waves Decentralized Exchange, the new and improved version. There has been an overhaul and it's looking great. Now, Waves has always been a favorite of mine because of the user friendliness of it. And it being, I'm a big supporter of decentralized exchanges. I believe if we're gonna have a cryptocurrency that belongs to the people that's totally decentralized and that's a, a big um, idea behind cryptocurrency we're also going to need to centralize exchanges to function in a similar way right to really have control uh, back to ourselves now we know that in recent times here Vitalik uh, made this very um, uh, an uh, interesting announcement where he says that centralized exchanges should burn in hell. <laughs> so I, I think that uh, kind of gives an idea about how some of us in the space feel about centralized exchanges. Whereas um, I don't demonize centralized exchanges, I do feel that it's very important that I advocate the use of decentralized exchanges and that they are probably going to be the safest choices going forward in the future. Um, centralized exchanges can create many issues and many problems. One such being centralized exchanges select what tokens get traded and which don't. Now, some of us might go, well, um, that's kind of a good thing because we're going to get all of these scam coins and um, and uh, horrible coins that uh, that aren't of value to people and are just taking people's money right and on one hand I have to agree with that but on the other hand when you have a centralized authority making decisions about what tokens can trade uh, I can see that shift of power where this group of people this small group of people is making that decision I can see that can lead to problems as well. And not just that, there are other things. When you're a centralized exchange, of course, we know that um, uh, central authorities can come after you and various things like that, and that we entrust these centralized exchanges to hold our funds, in which there have been cases, or there can be cases where, where there have been cases where people's funds have been lost with these centralized exchanges. So. I think for us who've been in the cryptocurrency space, especially a while, uh, we understand the importance of using decentralized exchanges um, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, understanding that this is a much needed uh, thing in cryptocurrency. Now, so Waves, I think, uh, does that the best right now. It has many features. Um, it has a, a ways to mine to uh, lease um, from them and um, uh, make uh, a type of passive income from their systems as well. Um, but also, under ways, people can issue their own tokens, uh, kind of like a crowdfunding token. And uh, again, I know that can open up many worms, but what we have to understand, guys, is that when we give freedom of money back to the people, this is the freedom that comes along with it. Now, uh, we have to do our due diligence. We don't just invest in people who are putting these tokens out. Um, you make sure that you, you participate in projects uh, that have a good plan that uh, have a standing in the community and and that uh, after you've done all your research you know they work for you but I think this still puts us on a great path of where cryptocurrency needs to be for our protection overall uh, centralized authorities can be or central centralized exchanges can be dangerous guys and we we know that so uh, when we put our monies on centralized exchanges, we are trusting those exchanges, right? So we do have to be careful, guys. So Waves is um, been doing quite well uh, on coin market cap as well. Um, it it has lost some positioning uh, over time, but 
is still um, um, a great product. Uh, Sasha Ivanov, who works, uh, who designed Waves, who runs Waves, I believe worked as an astrophysicist uh, prior to getting involved with Waves. So very intelligent guy, very, very important guy. And uh, you can trade so many markets, so many Bitcoins, Ethereum, uh, between tokens you create yourself um, on these on these exchanges um, and it's just awesome guy they also have an app uh, that you can use and it's just so user friendly I promise you guys it's one of the most user friendly uh, decentralized exchanges I've ever been on never had a problem with it I've been on several other decentralized exchanges that run terribly um, poorly and freeze up all the time and you just can't do anything with them never had this happen with waves it has an online client um as well as an app so this is awesome guys uh very awesome system i invite you all to try it uh for those of you who watch the channel you probably know that i, I do have a token that um it's trades on the ways to centralize exchange and um uh, I think we've surpassed about 200 wallets now, which is quite an honor. It's a token I, I start to give back to my community, the community of people who uh, watch our content in media and that participate in many of the programs that uh, we're involved in. And a lot of what our token does is we get involved with other projects that work and we aim to help make those projects better. So uh, we're, we're, we run on a kind of a slow go of we don't make products, we make products better, uh, which kind of was an old BASF slogan of a company uh, from years ago that was very popular that didn't create products, but they worked with products that worked and tried their best to participate to help make those products better. And I think th that's pretty much can sum up what our token does. Um, and um, and uh, uh, we, you don't have to buy our tokens. Uh, uh, we find ways to utilize your value into the token. And uh, it does trade on the decentralized exchange. It trades around one penny. It's traded as high as two cents. Um, and you have immediate liquidity with the ways to centralize exchange. Now, this is what so uh, this is how cryptocurrency is supposed to work in my opinion, guys. I don't think cryptocurrency is supposed to be a bureaucracy of what we have or the problems we have in the regulation of our money system of how it exists today. Um, we know that regulation in our money system as it does help people, it at the same time is like a double-edged sword that hurts people. Regulation also can stifen uh, opportunity, right? If you can make investments in certain products and projects that might one day uh, make you, uh, uh, put you in a much better position, uh, make you more financially stable, if you're not able to invest in those other products, then what can happen is you, you're losing opportunity and regulations have... It's a fact that regulations have done that and continue to do that to this day. Now, I'm not saying people shouldn't be protected. Uh, obviously, they should in some in some way. But there, there's always been this um, this um, these arguments about freedom and security that you can have one, but you can't have the other. You can have more of one, but you can't have both. Because what happens is the more groups are secure, the more certain freedoms have to be reduced, right? And so in that respect, it is necessary that we educate ourselves, do our due diligence and learn as much as we can and not look for governments or regulatory bodies to babysit us that we need to be responsible for our own financial futures and our own decisions and be grown up about it so we can make the right decisions. Uh, 
in the cryptocurrency space, that's been a big problem. We've seen people invest in terrible coins and then they run off and they want to sue people and they want to do this and they want to do that. But the problem with that is when you create a negative effect in the cryptocurrency space and that's and that's you know I, i'm not excusing scammers obviously i'm not doing that but what i'm bringing up is responsibility and the responsibility of being able to say this is a bad coin this is a bad project i don't want to partake in without stopping other projects from getting funding they need to create a better project tomorrow right so guys Waves is allowing people to do that. This decentralized exchange is allowing people to do that better than anybody else. That's going to create more opportunity for us. Uh, and again, my token trades on there. You don't have to spend a buck to get it. We found a way to monetize just your participation, just waving your hands and saying hello. Uh, there will be a link in the description to my website and my token and um, how we work with other tokens. Um in a way to create value between ourselves and hopefully for them as well. And so we kind of do a kind of thing where we're kind of being backed by these tokens in a certain way and various things like that. So guys, I'm excited to see this new uh, Waves platform. Make sure you get your wallet at Waves. Also, just want to say this, this part real fast. Many of you uh, have created wallets. We have hundreds of wallets now with my token. And I see you guys creating your accounts but you're forgetting to leave your waves wallet id and it starts with a three so make sure if you are participating with us you are registering with the site as many of you have done and i thank you all that you do get your don't forget to click on the wallet go over to the wallet section get your wallet id and in the forms leave it in there so we can get you your tokens which you can trade for other tokens or you can trade them for uh, value back in that token so guys get your waves wallet if you are a waves investor or you like the waves project know about waves please comment let us know what you like about waves and if you see decentralized exchanges as the future guys you like content like this don't forget to like subscribe and until next time Take care.